Hey guys, this is Jay Bird here, and um, today I'll be bringing you guys some WWE 2K19 gameplay. And uh, I got this a couple of days ago, and uh, I figured you know it'd be a cool thing to add on the channel. I know I haven't been uploading as recent as I usually do, I guess. But uh, reason for that, I have a really good, a solid reason. <laughs> I'm really trying to get through with the uh, Red Dead Redemption 2 story mode, so I really been behind on my YouTube and on Fortnite in general. Like, in Fortnite, I don't even think I finished the, uh, this, uh, weekly challenge or whatever, the, uh, re most recent week weekly challenge. And so, yeah, that's that. So, I mean, it's not just that I've, you know, just been slacking. Because I really not, you know, I'm a gamer. I'm not just a Fortnite player or whatever. But I took, I decided to take a break from it. Because, you know, I did get this game a couple of days ago. And I didn't want to, you know, I didn't want it to go to waste. So, I've decided, you know, why not make a series all about it, you know, on the universe mode. Because I've played the recent WWE 2Ks, and I mean, they're pretty fun, but uh, I never made, like, a series on them. Simply because I really don't know how to, you know, I haven't watched wrestling in years, it feels like. I don't think I, the last time I watched it was whenever it was, like, The Shield and uh and all that good stuff. Like, you know, and Ryback, and, like, the Ryback era and all that good stuff. I don't even think Ryback even wrestles anymore. <laughs> But he might, yeah, he might, I don't even know, you know what I'm saying, it's been that long. But, uh, I decided, you know, to try to get back into it, and, you know, you know, it, and, you know, you know it's just something different, you know, because, <laughs> you know, I'm tired of just uploading Fortnite. But, I mean, it has been, I have been getting a lot of views and stuff for the Fortnites, but, you know, I just want to switch it up a little bit, because, you know, I'm not a Fortniter, man, I'm not a Fortniter. But, I, um, I also want to try out the, the little, is the showcase and the, my player the same thing? That's fine, I like the Roman Reigns is pretty cool, but like, uh, oh yeah, by the way, my favorite wrestler is Randy Orton. I, he looks so different, bro. He got hair now, and it's so, I mean, I, he's always had hair, but like, now it's like, it's kind of grown out. That's fine, but I want to, like, I don't even know where any of this is. I probably should have read, you know, all the, you know, tutorial and stuff, but let's just get into it. John Cena, you can't see me, you know, that was, that was my childhood favorite, you know, because I'm, it's John Cena, bro, come on, who doesn't like John Cena? John freaking Cena. But yeah, but anyways, my favorite wrestler is Randy Orton, so you probably gonna see him evolve a lot in the series. Various setting of superstars can be saved between multiple W Universe saves in my WWE. This includes attributes, movesets, and entrances. Settings specific to Universe will not be saved between multiple areas, such as shows, relationships, championships, promo attitudes, goals, power rankings, teams, rivalries, and st statistics. All right, so slots. We're going to go ahead and do slot one. And by the way, this is my first time even playing it. I would have played it way earlier, but, man, check this out. I man, I had installed it, but I guess I uh, didn't check to see if you know how it has the ready, ready to play or whatever. And so, for me, it just was showing up as, uh, like, I couldn't play nothing. It was just stuck on 1v1s. I was like, dang, I know I just didn't buy the demo because I was like, and so I was checking to see, well, I was like, maybe I just installed the demo and didn't even uh, start it installing the game. And so what happened is I uninstalled it, reinstalled it, and it kept on doing the same thing. And I was like, I did a, like, a couple of research. I looked up it up online, all what the problem is and stuff. And like, what it, I went, it wasn't even finished installing, bro. Like, it was just ready to play. Like, like you know how it be, you not be. It's not ready to play, but ready to install. It's just weird. But yeah. So I ended up, I figured that out. So I would have had some gameplay way earlier, but me and my slowness. But listen, I don't think Brock Lesnar's tat, I didn't think his tattoo went up into his like throat like that. Like I thought it was just a sword. That is cool. Unless he just got a different one. I don't know how that is. But Ryback look, I mean, not Ryback, but Roman Reigns look pretty fine. Let me customize it real quick. Cause there is a certain amount of shows. I don't want NXT. I just feel like it's pointless. But if I did do something with the NXT, It'd be like rookies only or whatever. Upcoming NBA. Oh, what's this? 205 Live. See, that's new. I never tried that. I do want to, you know, I probably keep that one on there Thursday. Now, I really want to move that back to Friday night. Because I like I used to like the Friday night being on SmackDown. But it, it, it is Friday. They got wrestling almost every day. Except for Friday or Saturday. And then Sunday is like main events, I think. But it is fine. Raw, I'm going to keep that on Monday. It's... That look back when I watched it, it used to be Monday Night Raw, Friday Night SmackDown, and I think it was Tuesday Night NXT. I I didn't really watch NXT that much. The only time I, I watched NXT like the first two seasons when it was five, you know what I mean? It had Heath Slater and all those guys in the rankings. 
that's what I like. But I don't think they do it like that now. And then uh, I think for Thursday, they had Thursday Night Superstars or something like that. But yeah, I, I really like that. I kind of want to change this to that if I can. Can I do that? I don't want to delete it and then just mess everything up. I might just go ahead and, you know, just leave it alone. I'm going to go ahead and change the champions because uh, you know how that be. Singles. I'll go ahead and just look at champions. Oh, well. NST championship, I don't really care. Uh, women's NST, I don't care about that. AJ Styles, the WWE championship. I kind of want to change that, but I can I can work with that. Cruiserweight champion. See, I don't even know who this is. Cedric Alexander, I don't even, never heard of that guy. I think I seen him in 2K18, but I never really knew about him. But Seth Rollins, Intercontinental. And I don't really worry about the women's too much. I might not even show that many gameplay. Unless you guys would like, that's something that you guys would like to see. Then I'll definitely get you guys some gameplay of that. I, don't, I just don't know. I have to comment that down below. The United States, I'm probably going to end up changing that position. Because <laughs> I don't, I really don't even know this guy that much. And then the Universal Championship, Roman Reigns, that's fine. And then I don't even know who this is at all. I don't even know that championship existed. So that's fine. Tag teams. Let's look at the tag teams that we're working with. I think I remember these guys. I don't know who these people are. I remember this. I remember uh, Curtis Axel. I think that's what it used to be called. And then this guy, he was from NXT too as well. I think he was like part of the the. the uh, dang, what's the uh, the demon guy? He's one of Finn Balor, Finn Balor or whatever. He came in with that little group. But I like Finn Balor as well. He's one of my other. He's like another favorite wrestler of mine. I haven't really been watching it as that much, so I don't even know who if this guy's. Uh, I think it's like Bo Dallas, ain't it? Yeah, Bo Dallas. I don't know if he's still like. I think he's like. I think he done switched up or whatever. And then this is a good tag team that I'm gonna probably play with a lot. Shit, uh, dang, ain't it Caesar? Dang, I'm probably screwing his name up, but I think it's like uh, Cesar or something like that. And then you know Sheamus. Haha, <laughs> I like Sheamus. Sheamus was uh, another good. Good wrestler that I like, and then you got the Bella Twins. That's fine. I always like the Bella Twins. They just always seem very hot to me. <laughs> and then you got the, uh, I thought the, the Wyatt Brothers. I wonder. They look fine though. They look like um, like off brands of Kane. Whenever he used to wear the mask or whatever. So yeah, that's fine. I wonder what happened to Bray Wyatt. Is he not in the group no more? Or I don't know what's going on with that. And then Bree Zango. Oh no! Don't tell me Tyler Breeze and Fandango or whatever done team though know, that's so corny bro <laughs> and then i think i remember these guys but they weren't never too popular or whatever oh snap the heart oh uh, matt hardy uh, okay and bray wyatt the deleters of the world see look I, i'm so far behind I, I don't even know who these folks are and then i think i remember these guys but they were another one of those tag teams that wasn't very known heat slater and rhino i don't even know who rhino is heavy machinery the iconics kevin onions Whoa, wait a minute. I thought they had, like, some type of rivalry going on. But that is cool that they teamed up. I, I like that. That's pretty fine. Oh, the New Day. <laughs> hey, now, these were the most exciting people to watch in wrestling. Even though it was uh, usually just Big E and then uh, Kofi Kingston. I didn't really see the other guy that much. I don't even really know his name all that well. But, yeah, they were very exciting to watch. I ain't going to lie. Some of the stuff they did was kind of gay, like, shaking their butt and stuff. Pretty weird. But then you got the Revival. Never heard of them. The Riot Squad, never heard of them. Oh, Rusev. And then uh, some other guy. I don't know who the other guy is. And then Sanity, I'm guessing that's what that is. Never heard of those. The Street Profits. I ain't never heard of these guys, but they black, so they seem pretty legit, pretty cool. <laughs> and then you got Titus Worldwide. I know Titus O'Neil. No, I don't really know the two people in the back. I wonder if they're doing this by overall. Oh, no, they aren't, because it goes from 72 to 82. But I don't know who any of those people are. Then you got the Usos. I remember watching them back in the day before. Oh, they're bad now. Well, I remember when they were good. And then these are just indie teams. All right. So that's good. Let's see what the news is right now. Nothing. Historical sets. The power rankings. I do like the 205 Live, though. That's This is a cool little vibe. I like how they change it up a little bit, you know, making something new. I probably will end up deleting the show NXT. I might bring something else in, in place of it. Then let's look at tonight's show. I might not have enough time to, you know, get into tonight's show. Because I kind of want to do 
every match, you know. I like, just, yeah, I'm gonna wait to do the matches. Cause this is more like an intro, like to like a, like a teaser, you know. It's one of those things. But like, like it's just to give me a good idea on what I'm working with and what shows I need to do. But I know I do wanna uh, do Raw and SmackDown for sure. And then I'll do like the 205. But guys, comment down below whether or not I should keep NXT or should I just exchange it out for a different type of show or just create my own or whatever. And then on the matches, like just uh, let me know how many would you like to see per video. Like for the show. Like, because I know there's basically seven matches per show. So, like, with basically, which ones would you prefer me to play? And would you want me to do the Divas? Like, go into all that stuff? And, like, like some of these matches, I'm not even going to lie, i probably skip through. Like, this one, I probably won't even play because it just seems, like, irrelevant. You know what I mean? Because, like, Dolph Ziggler. I mean, I do like Dolph Ziggler. Don't get me wrong. He is pretty cool. But this other guy, I don't even know. Then, like, this one, I may, uh, like, let it play through. And then this, you know, we're going to watch that, of course. And then Finn Balor. And then, uh, I know this guy, I think the, um, I forgot his name to the left. Oh, yeah, Braun Strowman, it says it right there, I'm tripping. But, yeah, he's, uh, I know he's pretty fine. I think he w used to be the Universal Champion, and I'm not, it was like, had that little thing with Brock Lesnar going on. But, yeah, I thought he, I was pretty sure he's pretty fine. Then the John Cena thing with Brock Lesnar, that's pretty fine. And so, yeah, for the, for the next video that I make, I'm probably gonna do Roman Reigns versus Baron Corman, because it's the opening, it's the opener or whatever. I'm probably gonna skip this one, unless you guys... T say different in the comment section like unless you guys don't want to see the divas uh fighting you just think it's kind of boring because i i personally feel like it's kind of boring because i mean i don't know it's just not the same i'll probably skip this match and i'll probably let this one play i'll watch this i'll probably play that one and i'll probably play that one so the next episode you're possibly looking at one two three four five matches or not really matches, but little, like five little different areas or whatever. Five little things. I don't even know how they explain it. Because <laughs> this is not a uh, match, I don't think. And then this might be. A, yeah, this is a match. So basically four matches and then a, uh, then a promo. So that's fine. And then uh, actions. I do want to look at all this other stuff though. Rivalries. Let's see what the rivalries are right now. Oh, dang. I probably should have read that real quick. Does it pull it back up? Yeah, it does. I'll read it later. But yeah, right now we have no rivalries. Right now, I might make us a make make up a rivalry before the next episode. Whatever. Let's look at the power rankings. Right now, it's Roman Reigns, Braun Strowman. Whoa, wait a minute. Braun Strowman has the money in the bank. That's crazy. That's that's pretty. I want. We're probably gonna make something happen with that. That is pretty far. His goal is to win the world title. Go to after the Universal Championship. That is crazy. That is that should be very exciting. With that being. With Braun Strowman having the money in the bank, oh god, there's no telling what uh, Roman Roman Reigns is gonna have to deal with. That is pretty cool though. And then I see they have attribute points now, so that's pretty cool. Like, I wonder if you can uh, like upgrade their attributes or whatever. But Seth Rollins, he has the Intercontinental Championship, and he's fourth in the power rank is on Monday Night Raw. So that'd be cool if he you know bumped up and ended up fighting his former teammate. I don't know if they're still teammates or not. I think they might be, but I'm not even sure. I know they're allies because I mean they're basically they basically were brothers basically, and so like I don't know that'd be cool to see as well. <laughs> Seth Rollins versus Roman Reigns, and then imagine Seth Rollins winning that thing, having the Intercontinental and the Universal Championship. That'd be fine. And then Finn Balor is in, he makes the top five. That is pretty cool. I do want to see Finn Balor have a very successful you know career. So that'd be pretty fine. I wonder where John Cena is at on this bit. Unless he's on SmackDown. Because I don't even see him nowhere. Not even in the top 20. That's not good. Is he even on Raw? He might be on SmackDown now. Oh, no, he was. He was just super low for some. Oh, he's at the very bottom. <laughs> Screw us. I wonder why. He's so... Maybe he's just uh, fighting for another championship or something. Because I know for... uh, No, that's not what it is. I don't know why he's so low. That is pretty weird. Let's look at the championship. I know I wanted to change the universe, uh, the United, the United States, um, championship. Wait a minute, they got a women's, uh, money in the bank. That's pretty cool. What's edit divisions? I wonder what this is. Oh, I think, um, 
Yeah, like for certain titles. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. I do like that. Uh, how, Cause I meant to do that earlier. Like you can choose who fights for what. Uh, oh, they brought Drew McIntyre back. Sorry, but I know they uh, had this. I know they had uh, like on the last one you couldn't really choose who fought for what title, but on this one you can. That's pretty cool. And so uh, yeah, for the end or for the I just want to change um, a few people on this. For Jason Jordan, I don't really know who that is, so I probably end up taking him off. And then, I don't know. Let me just edit it. I, I want to Randy Orton that. Is he on SmackDown? I know that he used to be before. He might not be on some oh, well. I'm just going to leave it as, as it is right now. But that is pretty. Oh, I do want to edit the ranking. No, 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 no. Scratch that. I'm not going to mess with anything. As of right now, I'm probably going to go like deep into like the editing and stuff. Like after the video. What's the action? Oh, announce cash in, edit match, simulate all matches. All right, so that's probably about all. We're not gonna get into the show just yet, but you know, if we get a certain amount of likes, you know, if if this video does very, like if it does successful, I will continue to upload more WWE content. And that'd be pretty cool because this is something that I always wanted to do, but I just didn't really have the time to do. So you know how it does. you know how it be. It just be like that sometimes. But anyways, hit that like button, subscribe, and if you have it already, click the notification bell for to stay notified on, uh, you know, recent videos or uh, you know, stay notified on the channel and constant updates on my channel and all kind of stuff like that. But don't worry, I'm gonna try to post more regularly or like more recently or more like I've how it's been. Cause uh, I'm almost done with Red Dead Redemption 2. I'm on the final chapter right now. And it's, and guys, don't, don't worry. After I finish the story mode, I'm going to do a deep, deep review on the game and give you guys my input on the game. And is it worth getting? And uh, just be prepared for that. And then if that is something that you want to see, just, you know, hit this like button, you know, subscribe. You know, tell your friend. Comment down below. And uh, I'll see you next time on Monday Night Raw.